Catalina 2.11 to 12. Special emphasis on our relative clause of characteristic right there. Quam diu quisquam arit. For as long as there will be anyone, that's the existential verb to be there, qui te defendere audeat. Who dares defend you? So audeat, you can hear the ea in there. That's subjunctive. And it's subjunctive because it's in a relative clause of characteristic. Qui here introduces the relative clause. And this qui refers back to the antecedent quisquam, which means anyone. The antecedent is indefinite, therefore it's a relative clause of characteristic. It's not just a straight relative. And this is the complementary infinitive. Defendera. We waste so up. Watch out for that E. Future. You live. And again, future. And you will live. Ita ut nunc vivis. Just as now you do live. And look, he shifted his vowel. This is present. Oh, aren't we clever? And again, second person singular. This whole speech is about second person singular because he's pointing at Catiline while he's saying these things. All right, but we wes et we wes ita ut nunc we wis. Multis meis et firmis praesidis obsessus. And this is, what did I say down here? Besieged. That's PPP by ablative, ablative. Ablative, ablative. You see a passive verb form? Look for the ablative. Besieged by my many strong guards. Lest posis, ooh, subjunctive. Yeah, mm hmm. Second singular, two s there. Lest you be able, comoverete, to move contra rem publicam against the Republic. All right. Yep. Negative purpose clause right here. Goes from there to there. Subjunctive in there. And now for 11. Multorum te etiam oculi et aures. Okay. The oculi and the aures are both subjects there. Multorum's genitive. So it's the eyes and ears of many people. Indeed. And look, te. Gotta believe that's going to be the D-O, right? It's coming. Once again, second person. Te. What do they do? Let's go to the end. Ooh. Verb here. Verb here. It's a double. These eyes and ears oculi et aures speculabuntur. They watch. And buntur. They will watch. Atque custodi ent. With an E. Not custodiunt, but custodiant. Oh, both future. Very nice. They will watch you, and they will guard you. And here's a little participial phrase. This might as well be a little subordinate clause. But instead, Cicero is using a participial phrase. Te, modified by sentientem, non sentientem. They watch you. Not perceiving. Ooh. So we're going to change that in English to say, they watch you, te, non sentientem, though you don't see it. Okay, so we make our own subordinate clause. They use this participial clause. Sicut ad hoc fecerunt. Just as up until now, fecerunt. They have done. Yes, Cicero has had spies everywhere. And so not only is this going to happen in the future, but secret ad hoc fecerunt, just as they have done up till now. So lots of interplay between the future tenses, the present tense, and the past tense.